Hey guys, and welcome to this week's reading vlog. It is actually Tuesday. I'm starting a day late because um, I was busy all day yesterday. So it's about 11 o'clock. I've got like half an hour-ish before I start. I have to start to get ready. But I'm trying to work in reading every single day to get me out of my reading slump and it's slowly working. So I am reading When Dimple Met Rishi. I am on page... 125 and this is like such a fast read so I'm glad that it's a fast read because I definitely need that and then I'm just having some breakfast some yogurt and granola and strawberries so that is where I'm gonna kick things off for this week's reading vlog and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit hey guys it is Wednesday and I thought I would update you guys so I've been listening to unravel me I'm about 120 pages into this and this might this is gonna be spoilers for Unravel Me and Akatar. So if you guys haven't read either of those or if you don't want to be spoiled, um just like mute this until I take down Unravel Me. So I'm listening to this and like everybody knows because it's like all over like anything book related with Tahara Mafi that Warner is end all, right? So I'm not at that point. Like, we've seen interactions between Warner and whatever her name is. Oh, shoot. What is her name? How do I know the boys' names better than the girls' names? Juliet. That's the... So all we've seen is Julie and Adam being together. And everybody, like, talks about how terrible that is. And I'm kind of seeing that. So so I'm thinking that, that Adam is going to be, like a Tamlin of sorts and kind of secretly be the villain and I haven't quite decided but I just know that Warner is supposed to be like end all. I, I, I think like after this one I'm gonna push myself to at least go like finish the third one because I want to figure out like why everybody loves Warner so much and really that's what's fueling me in this because this book like isn't it's dystopian first of all so I'm not super into the mood of dystopian and that's like why I'm not like loving this. I suppose I can take the book down. So I'm not super into the, like the dystopian mood, but I, I'm not. I, I want to figure out like why everybody loves Warner so much, and I think that might be like the only thing that's going to be fueling me in this. So I'm in the middle of reading that. I'm listening to it. it. I'm flying through it, and the chapters are super short. So I'm like flying through like five chapters every time that I listen to it. So. I'm, I've been listening to that one, and I've also been reading When Dimple Met Rishi, which is downstairs, hence why I'm walking through my house right now. Um, and I'm liking that one. I'm, I'm liking, woo, really bright, sorry. <laughs> I'm liking the um, characters a bit more, but I still don't love them. It's definitely not going to be like a reread, definitely not for me. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's cute, and I'm flying through this one as well, so I'm on... 175 so I'm again about halfway through that I'm only reading for about an hour ish a day like plus distractions so I'm not spending a ton of time reading if I think if I just sat down and read both of these books I would finish them within like a day because they would be read so fast but I just am not dedicating that time to it yet but I still have quite a ways to uh until my live show so uh I'm enjoying that one. I don't understand all the hype around it though. And that's been like a big thing through my mind because when it first came out, like everybody was raving about it and I don't quite understand it. Like it's good, but it's not that good in my opinion. So that is all for my update for those. And I really need to head to work because I'm gonna get be late here soon. But that is all for what I'm reading. And I'm going to be listening to a little more of Shatter Me, or not Shatter Me, Unravel Me on my way to work because I listen to my audiobooks on my way to work. So that is all for this Wednesday update and I will check back with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys and welcome to another day in the reading vlog. It is Thursday at about 12.30 ish and I've just been listening to Unravel Me and I'm now about 200 pages and I'm on chapter 30 and this book is I mean, it's starting to get better, and it's starting to have a light at the end of the tunnel type of thing. But, like, the first 200 pages, and I get it's a dystopian, but the first 200 pages were world downers, and it made me, like, 
not want to listen to the book. So I'm so on the fence. I don't want to dog this series because so many people love it, but I'm just like, I just am not in the mood to listen to like down because she's she's constantly like self I I get it very very believable very real but she's constantly down on herself she's constantly doubting it and and having these social anxiety issues and going through this depression and so like me putting myself in those shoes and, and walking her walk really sucks that it's like 24/7 being down while I'm like listening to this so uh, if you're if you're in a like down mood or you're susceptible to feeling your character's emotions, which I always feel weird talking about, but I am one of those people that put myself in the character's shoes. So some books I can really like really fall into their shoes, and then I start feeling the feelings they are feeling, which I guess is a test to good writing that I can it's believable enough that I can take on like their emotions, but it's it's sucky when it's a down book and you're like man like I just I can't catch a break <laughs> like so you're constantly down so if, if you're susceptible to that I would be a little weary of this I work in a bookstore and a lot of parents come in and say I don't want a lot of heavy stuff this is one that I would stay away from if you are are susceptible to catching those emotions like I am. Leave me a comment down below if I'm if I'm the only one that does that or if you guys also can take on like the emotions that your character is feeling in some books. So this is definitely one of them, but it is starting to a little bit turn around. Like I said, I'm I'm little under halfway through. Let's see how many pages are actually in this. 461 and 200 pages. So I've got about 260 left and I I'm still on the fence if I want to continue this series. I want to know what the hype is with Warner. Like that's what's like keeping me connected. But it's like, I don't know if I can take like a whole another book of it being down. And I definitely like, I definitely couldn't read it because I would not come back to the story if it was just constantly me be reading being down. Which is really nice that I'm pairing this book listening to this book and then reading When Dimple Met Rishi because When Dimple Met Rishi is just like a fluffy, fluffy book. So it's a good balance there, but I, I just, I don't know if I could take Ignite Me. Let me know down below if Ignite Me takes a happier note or like just not, not, not such a downer book because this is definitely feeling this. Like this, the tone of this makes me feel like... It's on the same level as um, New Moon. And I, I can't stand, I, I oftentimes will, if I'm rereading Twilight, I will not go through New Moon because I can't take it. Like, I just cannot take that mopiness. And she definitely, I mean, she's got valid reasons, but I cannot take this mopiness with Juliet in this. So I'm still weavering on my rating for this. Right now, it's it's definitely middle of the road. It's like three stars. I, I hate to say that because I know this is a really popular series, but I just, the mopiness. So I'm hoping once I finish this one, I can finally start my reread of Bloodlines. And also, I really need to get to the Dark Phoenix saga. So... I gotta, I might, I might do this one just to like pick me up a little bit and then I'll, I'll go back to my bloodlines, which that, that makes me happy. And it's like hard not to compare because I listened to this on audiobook and I've listened to Unravel Me and I'm like, I would much rather just listen to bloodlines right now because bloodlines is like, in my opinion, like an upper and it like, it, it's got spunky characters and there's not, there's not a ton. Like we, we have Kenji who's very amusing, but like. That's about it in Unravel Me, so that's my thoughts on that. I am going to film my Owl Crate unboxing and continue to listen to Unravel Me on my way to work and at work and such. So that is all for this update and I will probably see you tomorrow. Hey guys, it is Tuesday at about 11 o'clock at night 
and I'm officially on my uh, day off because I finally have a day off tomorrow. So I'm like finally getting to relax and I thought I would update you guys. So I finished Unravel Me today. Wow, that ending. The, I will say the ending is like monuments better than like the rest of the book. I felt there was a lot of build up for not a lot of payoff in my opinion. Um, so I'm sticking with three out of five stars. I get why it was exciting in like the dystopian craze, but I definitely don't think it lives up to the hype now. Um, let me know down below if I should continue. I'm not super crazy about it. Like I'm in, I always, I am always get intrigued at the very end, but I'm not intrigued through it. But it, they're not bad audiobooks to listen to, and it's not like I'm wasting a ton of time reading it. So I could really go either way. But I finished this one. Definitely not going to be like a favorite or definitely not going to be a reread, but I mean, it's, it's okay. I'm not really attached to the characters too much because I feel like we don't get a lot of backstory with them. Like we don't have any backstory on Juliet. We just know that she had a shitty, shitty childhood. Um, we don't really get any backstory on Kenji. We get it hinted a little bit. We don't get really any backstory on Adam. Again, it's hinted and same with Warner. And we're on book two, and I'm like, there's no backstory. I don't, I'm not attached to the characters. I'm just so surprised that there's not more character development in these books, which I was, I was very surprised about. So three out of five stars for Unravel Me. And I'm still reading When Dimple Met Rishi for our live show, which is uh, Thursday. No? Yeah, Thursday. So I've got to get on this to finish it. And um, I'm over halfway through and I'm enjoying it it's cute but it's again not something crazy like that I love which is so surprising because I was like reading like a promotional card for from twinkle with love which is the second book by this author and I it was like saying like praise for when dimple met rishi like best 2017 book or whatever like goodreads chose and I was like really like I did like it's cute, but it's not that good, and I was so surprised that it got such high ratings. So, I'm in the middle of that one, and if you haven't already, um, make sure to join our Goodreads group down below, and we will, um, like, we have a list of all the books if you guys ever want to join in for our Muggle Studies book club. And then we have, st I've officially started Bloodlines. <laughs> Which this is a reread for me, but I'm so excited because not everybody's read this. I think I'm the only one who's actually read this so far. So this will be a lot of fun to see. Uh, Gabby's been like Snapchatting me like with her theories and it's so exciting for me for her to, to read these because I love Vampire Academy. So these is, this is a sister series of Vampire Academy. And I'm on chapter three and I've forgotten. It's been a while, I think, since I've read Bloodlines. I've forgotten what a douche her dad is and like, uh, th so that's where I'm at. The, <laughs> my first opinions of rereading this is Sydney's dad is such a douche. And I like know the twists in this, but I don't remember all of like the intricacies. So I'm excited to get back into this one. And I'm listening to this and reading along with it on audiobook. So I'm already 50 pages in. And I did have to buy a book today because I, what, what is this? I mean, hello. <laughs> um, I, I have way too many books. That's just my life. So I had to pick up Despicable Deadpool Volume 2 because I don't have this one yet. It, like, I'm pretty sure it just came out. So I had to pick this one up. I read Despicable Deadpool Volume 1 and it was okay. It's not the best Deadpool series that I've read, but it's Deadpool, so you know, like auto buy. So. I will be definitely picking this one up soon and giving you guys a rating and yeah. So tomorrow I'm planning on doing a like full reading day and I've got to do some errands. I've got to get like new work shoes and boring stuff like that. But I'm going to be doing some some reading. So I'm going to sit down and make myself finish When Dimple Met Rishi and then while I'm out doing errands I'm going to be listening to Bloodlines which I'm very excited about because I love this series. So. That is all for my update right now, and you guys will probably get a clip from me tomorrow, and I'll wrap this up too. So, 
that is all leave me a comment down below what you are reading currently this week what you need to finish up by the end of the month and i will check back with you guys in the next clip hey guys sorry this is such a weird clip I realized that I never wrapped up my reading week for this reading vlog and I kind of forgot I had this finished so it's a bit old anyways but I wanted to kind of talk through what I have thought about the books because I definitely finished them and we had our Muggle Studies book club live show uh, so when Dimple met Rishi I ended up giving a three out of five stars I wasn't super impressed I honestly was a little disappointed because there was so much hype over this and I just felt like it was kind of falling flat and we kind of talked about this on our live show that we actually liked the beginning of the book better than like how it turned into because she was such like a strong character and then at the end like throughout the book she just kind of lost what made her special in my opinion and like what made her a strong female character so three out of five stars I was a bit disappointed um and I'm, I'm unsure of how I'm gonna like the next one so leave me a comment down below letting me know if you've read this one if you liked her newest one from Twinkle with Love if it kind of sit, follows the same tropes and let me know otherwise I might sell that one like at my used bookstore and pick up something that I might like and then of course I finished Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead I think I did this with like a 4.5 out of 5 stars I absolutely adore this series. I, Rochelle Mead, I love almost anything that she does. Um, but this is definitely like the icing on the cake with her. Vampire Academy is obviously my number one. Second is Bloodlines. I love this series. It's got such incredible character growth. It's got great characters. It's got great overall all arc and what this story evolves into and it's so much fun to read along with my muggle studies book club with me and gabby so make sure you are joining us along if you haven't read these before um so next month we are obviously reading well july we're reading um the golden lily and that's been a lot of fun so that one will be up on Gabby's channel from Gab's Bat Books. Make sure to go subscribe to her at this present moment. She's at like 999 subscribers, which would be so awesome if she made a thousand subscribers. So make sure to go subscribe to her and tell her I sent you and said hi. Um, but I absolutely adore this series. This is the sister series to Vampire Academy and it follows the alchemist. I don't want to tell you too much because you really should read Vampire Academy before you go into the bloodlines but I'm really excited to continue reading those and I'm the only one who's actually read them I believe everybody else is doing a like a first time reading and it's so much fun to experience that through their eyes also the Muggle Studies book club pick for neck for July is going to be My Lady Jane so if you are interested and haven't read this one uh Come join us for this over at Gabby's channel as well. And uh, I'm excited about this one. It sounds very interesting. And I know, like, this has been a diehard series of people. And so it's, if they liked it, they love it. So I'm very intrigued to see what I'm going to think about it. Because it's such a different concept. So that should be interesting. So stay tuned for more videos from me. I know this is kind of going up mega late. Um but I just kind of forgot that I had this footage. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.